going to have a go at some per percentage problems. We know how to convert between decimals and percentages and fractions, so we can apply this knowledge to some word problems. The first type is what percentage of the amount is left or spent or eaten or similar things. So let's have a go at one of those. Sally had £200. She bought a jacket for £50 and a skirt for £75. What percentage of her money did she have left? We need to do two parts here. The first part of the question is to work out how much money she had left. So how much money did she spend altogether? And therefore we can work how much there was left over at the end. So we start off by saying, how much did she spend? 50 pounds and 75 pounds. Altogether, she spent 125 pounds. Think about how much she had left then. She started with 200 pounds. She spent 125. So this means that she had 75 pounds left. The next part of the question is that we have to work out what percentage this is of the total money that she started with. So she started with 200 and now she has 75. So we can turn this into a percentage. Remember, the first thing to do is to turn it into a fraction. 75 out of 200. Then to turn this into a percentage, we multiply by 100. You can practice this on your calculator. 75 divided by 200 and then multiply that by 100. You can see that the answer is 37.5 or 37.5%. The second type of question is working out a percentage part of the whole amount. In this problem, we have Darius making a bottle of lemonade. 70% of that lemonade is water. If the bottle contains 500 millilitres of lemonade, how many millilitres of water are there in the lemonade? So in order to do this, we need to find out what 70% of 500 millilitres is. And there are two ways to do this. The first one is converting the percentage to a fraction and using that to work out our answer. So we know that the fraction that we're looking at is 70%. 70% is the same as 70 over 100. And if we want to, we can convert that. So 70 over 100, well, if we divide 70 by 10, we get 7. And if we divide 100 by 10, we get 10. So 7 tenths. We can now find 7 tenths of 500 millilitres. Remember the word of is a code for multiplying. And here we have the multiply sign here. So we've got 7 tenths multiplied by 500. When we work this out, we get 3,500 and we divide that by 10. That gives us an answer of 350 millilitres. 
There's another way of doing this. The bubble method that we looked at in class today. Remember with the bu bubble method, we first find 10% of the amount that we want. 10% is the same as one tenth. It's easy to find one tenth. We just have to divide by 10. So 10% 10 of 500 milliliters is 500 divided by 10, which gives us 50 milliliters. But we don't want 10%, we want 70%. And this is seven lots of 10%. So to work out 70% of 500 milliliters, we say seven lots of 10% of 500 milliliters. And you remember from the calculation before that this was 50 milliliters. So seven lots of 50 is 350 milliliters. Thankfully, both of the answers turn out to be the same, so we know that we've done our calculations correctly. Let's have a look now. I prefer at to use the discount method. I just find it a little bit easier. As long as you remember, a to coat start with cost 10 80 pounds and then work out from there. There is a 20 percent. So the rest of our calculations will be done using this that method. That means that we're going to get however 20 percent. If you prefer the price of our coat, converting to a fraction, what is the you new can do price it that of way the as coat? Well. Again, this is a two-part problem of all, that we need. We to need think to about. work out what we need to take off. Well, we're taking off 20% of the price. So we need to work out what 20% of 80 is. We'll use our bubble method. So we'll find 10% to start off with. We do this by dividing by 10. So 80 divided by 10 is eight pounds. We know that 20% is two lots of 10%. So to get our answer, we say two lots of eight is 16 pounds. And this is the amount of money that we're going to take off our original price. So let's work out the new price the sale price, we get a discount of £16. So the new price is 80, which is what we started with. Take away 16. So the answer, our new price is £64. So the coat costs £64 in the sale. Sometimes people get confused. They're not sure whether to take off the amount they've calculated or add it on. Think about whether your answer is going to be bigger or smaller than what you started with. I think we'd all expect that a coat in the sale would actually be less to buy than it would outside of the sale. So discounts are a lower price than they started. So that'll tell you to take away. Let's have a look at when we have an increase. So this is a percentage increase problem. Your granny gives you 50 pounds pocket money, a very generous granny, and you put it into the bank. In one year, your money earns 3% interest. Interest is the money that the bank gives to you. It's kind of like a thank you for putting your money with them. How much money do you have at the end of the year? So the first thing we've got to think about is, is our amount going to get bigger or smaller? 
Well, if we're going to get money from the bank on top of our pocket money, then it's going to get bigger. So we know that there's going to be an addition. So again, this is a two part question. Firstly, find the amount of interest that the bank gives you. So we need to find 3% of 50 pounds. Again, I'm going to use the bubble method. I'm going to start off by finding 10%. 10% of 50 is the same as one tenth of 50 pounds. So we can work out that 10% is 50 divided by 10. So it's five pounds. There are 10 lots of 1% in 10%. So 1% is 10 times smaller than 10%. So we've got to divide five pounds by 10. Five pounds divided by 10 is 0 0.5 pounds or 50 pence. Half a pound is 50 pence. So we've just worked out 1%. 3% is three lots of that. Three lots of 1%. So three times 50 is £1.50. So we've now found out the amount of interest that the bank gives to us. So how much money do we have all together? To find out what we have at the end, we need to add what we started with, 50 pounds that Granny gave us, to the amount of interest that the bank gave us, the one pound 50. So 50 pounds plus one pounds 50p is 51 pounds 50, which is our final answer. If you can do questions, on all three of these topics, then you'll be able to answer every question that will come up in the SATS paper at the end of the year. What I'd like you to do now is to have a go at some of the questions that you've been set for homework. If you need to rewatch the video, then you can. If you think you're ready to start all of those questions, then let's get started now.